Hi, and welcome to another video from MathsRevision.net, Circle Theorems. Circle Theorems, or Circle Geometry, might look difficult, but there are really only 9 concepts you need to work your way around. We'll move on through these concepts in this video. The first concept to remember, if you see a triangle with one side as the diameter, that's the line cutting the circle in half at any angle, then the line opposite will always be 90 degrees. Take a look at the example here. Our line making our triangle cuts the triangle in half through the centre, and we can see that the other two sides that touch the circle make a 90 degree angle. This will always be the case. Where a radius, that's the line from the centre of the circle, meets a tangent, a straight line outside the circle touching the circle, the angle here will always be a right angle, or 90 degrees. If a triangle is made of two radiuses, or radii, then we know that they're an isosceles triangle, meaning the two sides will always be the same length, because the radius, any line from the centre of the circle to the edge of the circle, will always remain equal. Therefore, we know that both the angles touching the circle will be equal. If we draw a straight line from edge to edge, whatever angle it may be at, we call it a chord. If we find the midway point and cut it in half with a line edge to edge of the circle, we will always make a diameter, and the angles around the cross will always be right angles. Remembering our word chord, a line that crosses a circle at any two points, we know that if we make a triangle with the other two lines from either end, any triangle made on the same side of a chord will have the same angle where the angle touches the circle. Not only that, but where we draw a triangle either side of the chord, the opposite angles will always add up to 180 degrees. If we have an angle from the centre making a triangle like our example here, then any triangle surrounding that triangle, made using the same points of our chord and meeting at the edge of the circle, will make an angle exactly half that of the angle at the centre of the circle. If we draw any quadrilateral in a circle and all the corners touch the circle, it is known as a cyclic quadrilateral. And where we have a cyclic quadrilateral, the angles opposite one another will always add up to 180 degrees. Remembering our rule earlier, the tangents, which meet a radius line, will always make a right angle. If we make two tangents at any angle that aren't parallel, they will eventually meet at exactly the same length. If we draw a line from the centre of the circle right to the angle at which the tangents meet, we will make two identical or congruent right angle triangles. Finally, and perhaps the most difficult rule to remember, if we have a tangent with a chord touching it, then draw a triangle within the circle using either end of the same chord, creating an opposite segment, then our opposite segment angle will always be equal to the angle between the chord and the tangent. I hope you found this video helpful. There was a lot of information in this video that you may not remember first time round, so be sure to go back and watch the video in full if there are any parts you did not grasp. Alternatively, if you're struggling with other trigonometry and angle questions, click the link now for our tutorial. And as ever, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.